All right, man, back with another one. We got the 2010 Honda Civic LX 1.8 liter, and we're doing the AC compressor change today. Uh, first, we're gonna start off by taking off the battery, the positive terminal. Uh, the reason why we're doing that, because yes, we have to remove the alternator to get to the AC compressor. So that's our first step. Uh, next, we're going to look at the alternator. We're going to grab those wires out the way first. It feels like the easiest thing for me to do. So I'm going to peel, peel back that rubber piece and squeeze this plastic right there. And squeeze that and pull it off while I'm squeezing it. And then I'll kind of peel this back. You don't have to use the tool, but I just make life easier for myself and get that plastic rubber off because, or not plastic, but the rubber off because it's a whole lot uh, easier with that. Um, that's going to be a 10 millimeter bolt holding that wire connection down to the alternator. So you want to get that 10 millimeter uh, firm on there and twist it counterclockwise. And so you can go ahead and spin it off. It's a real easy bolt to spin off. You don't need much force. Just take it off as, as, as is. Um, and then you want to use something to get that clip out of there at the way too as well. And then remove that wire connected to the, um, AC compressor wire. The AC compressor wire connects into the alternator, so you want to do that so you can get, get more room. All right, so to get the alternator off, there's going to be two 12 meter, millimeter bolts. Um, I'm using a breaker bar to break it loose, and then I'll use a ratchet to get it off. I'm just showing you where that first top one is, and then the bottom one. I'm going to try to show it to you. You're going to see it real quickly here. So it's going to be this bolt right here to the right with the tin on it that's going to be the second bolt you want to take off for the alternator and you'll be able to remove it and it's going to be once again a 12 millimeter bolt on on the top and the bottom you're going to use a lot of 12 millimeters uh for this job actually the ac compressor has 12s and um and the uh, belt belt tensioner uh has 12 millimeters we're going to take all that off today so like i said i use a breaker bar and i'm gonna use a ratchet it's hard to record with one hand so i'm struggling really bad it won't be that hard for you uh, but this is just a how-to and showing you the area where you want to put the ratchet uh the pulley's not in the way you don't have to take off the tension of pulley um it's just a tight fit so next you're going to go towards the belt and i didn't even take off the bolts all the way i just loosened them so at that point now i'm going to take off the belt you're going to use a 19 millimeter wrench and then to add extra leverage for it you want to use a bigger wrench and then i pried against the frame of the um of the car and then that way i was able to see how it's kind of foaming up and or popping up and i'm able to slide it off um the uh the, the pulley so now i got that out i'm gonna spin out these two bolts the one at the top for the alternator and then the one at the bottom once again those are 12 millimeter bolts uh, you'll be able to take it out like so and then when you take out the bolts You want to put them in a place you remember the long one goes to the top and then the short one goes to the bottom So those two bolts are right there I got them where I know I'm gonna remember and then you just want to kind of shake back or you can use the pry bar right there in that area to get that alternator out but mine was easy So now I have a little bit more room and more access to the AC compressor um, those are the AC compressor lines, and then that, that there is the uh, tensioner. So you want to take that tensioner out as well, and you want to remove it with the 12 millimeter bolts. Like I said, they're all 12 millimeters. So 12 millimeter socket, and you probably want to use a short socket. I had a long socket because that's just what I had. But um, you want to use that for more room. Or you can use a 12 millimeter ratcheting wrench or just a regular wrench, however it works for you. I got a lot of tools, so I just use what works. So break those bolts loose, get that piece off of there, because that's gonna be in the way when you try to take or remove the AC compressor. AC compressor comes out the top. It, it won't come out the bottom, it won't come out the side. If you take off the tires, don't waste your time. I tried it the first time to take it off through the tire. Uh, that didn't work. So this is the process for the um, for the Honda Civic. So as soon as you get those bolts out of there, um, you'll have a lot more room to wiggle and play. And there's a certain way that tensioner has to lay in order for you to get it out. And I'll struggle a little bit, but I'll show you why. Um, it has to be a certain, certain way. 
So same thing goes. I left that bolt in there, so just I just wouldn't forget that that bolt goes there. Um, but I did take the longer bolt out and put it at the top. And then there's one more bolt here at the bottom. But unfortunately, um, that that bolt right there is kind of hard to get to um, if you don't take out the AC lines. So I went on ahead and took out the AC lines as well. Uh, the AC lines are, are held in by two 10-millimeter uh, bolts. So you, want, you got a 10-millimeter right there and a 10-millimeter over there. And you want to use an extension so you have room to uh, twist it off. So they're easy to break. You can twist it off by hand after you get it, get it broken loose. And then you want to remove those uh, tent, those AC lines and put those aside so they're not in your way. And you have better access to that last 12 millimeter bolt. There goes one, and then I'll take the second one out. So those should come out as so. If you haven't already uh, drained the um, AC of the Freon, it'll probably blow out of smoke or uh, you'll see a lot of green um, fluid coming out so you you want to do that before you even start to take out the um, the bolts of the um, AC lines you can do that with the Freon machine or you can just um, basically yeah, you're post, post properly supposed to take it out with the Freon uh, machine but sometimes we're short on money so we have to do it a, a different way and uh, you get those, get that free on out of there. So uh, sometimes, in most cases, you won't have to even do that because you won't have any free on left. And that's your problem. So now I'm doing the top two bolts of the AC compressor, and once again, these are 12 millimeter bolts. Like I said, it's a lot of 12 going on. 12 millimeter bolts at the top, and then also there's two at the bottom, and they're going to be 12 millimeter bolts as well. So break those loose, spin them out fully, and then your next step is going down to the bottom of the other car to get, get those other two out of there. And like I said, that, that wire is connected from the alternator and the AC compressor. So once you take that out, you only have one wire, and then the bolts is the last thing you have to remove it. And I use a jack to lift up the bottom of the car um, just to have more access to it because the bolts are hard to get from the top. So yeah, you'll see I have a whole lot more room down here. And that is bolt number one. And then bolt number two is goes into the hole right next to it, which I already took out. So right there is just a little recording here you're not really seeing me take it out but that's what i'm doing i'm taking out the bolts as we speak so there goes my jack you're usually supposed to have a jack stand on it uh this time i didn't but i recommend a jack stand so the car doesn't roll and also having a emergency brake on as well so that way um your car won't roll and fall on you so yeah, after you get that bolt out, and then there's another one right there um, that comes out as well, you'll be able to finally remove the AC compressor. Okay, here's the moment of truth. So now we got all four bolts out. And you, as you can see, the AC compressor is very loose now. And it's ready to come out. Like I said before, 
that tensioner right there that's standing up with the bolt in it has to be facing down in order for you to pull out the AC compressor. I'm going to struggle with it a little bit, but eventually I'll move it to the correct direction and then I'll be able to pull out the AC compressor. And right now I'm just moving wires around lines so I can get access to it and have better room. So you see here that's it's getting stuck. Um, it's not letting me come out no matter how I twist it or turn it or flip it. It's just in the way. Now you can fully remove the tensioner, but that's a lot of work. So I just left that bottom bolt in it. And then if I put it down, I'm able to actually get it out by flipping it the other way. So I'll set it back down, flip all the way straight. Now I have ultimate room and I'm able to get it out. Boom. So next you want to go ahead and get the old, um, the old, uh, sorry, I have a brain fart. The old gasket rings, O-rings off of the, um, the um, coolant lines, the AC lines. I'm sorry, not coolant lines, AC lines. And then uh, you want to add the new ones that come with the part. My part also came from AutoZone, so I got two new green ones. You may have a part that does not. Um, they have O-ring, you know, universal O-rings at Auto, AutoZone for five bucks. If you don't have the ones that come with it, because I highly re recommend uh, changing that out. And then a good pick tool as well. Picks are really cheap. They have a pack of... Um, AutoZone or uh, Harbor Freights for Harbor Freights. I know they're like two or three dollars. AutoZone maybe like five or six. So yeah, I would use that type of pick too as well. Uh, that one hooks in and grabs the O-ring pretty easy. As you see, this one was stuck on there. It's been on there for a while and it came with some extra, but the O-ring fell to the bottom. So now. Grab the one from the new pack, slide it on there. You can use the uh, pick to push it on there, make sure it's fully seated down, and then you're able to uh, get ready to put the new AC compressor in and bolt it up and then add your AC lines. Now, as you're installing a new one, same process. Make sure the lines are out, out of the way uh, and keep that tensioner to the facing to the bottom. So that way it'll slide in real easy. It goes in way easier than I took it out. So, And the good thing about this uh, AC compressor, it has like where the top goes in. You can kind of see there's little, um, those little, um, pieces attached to the holes at the end they're like little tiny arms they actually have a place where they seat in and they hold the ac compressor so without putting the bolts in the ac compressor will sit on the uh, engine block and allow you to line up the hole right there boom and allow you to line up the hole so you can put in the uh, bolts so that's real good i like that design So like I said, line the bolts up 12 millimeter, reverse, reverse process, install it just the way, same way you took it out. 12 millimeter bolts, 12 millimeter bolts.
and then line up the ball so before i even get ready to tie i mean i put them the bolts in but i don't completely tighten it with the socket until i have all four bolts in and at that point you can go ahead and start tightening uh the bolts down it just makes it a whole lot easier for you uh, when you get ready to actually uh, tighten the bolts up so you make sure that they're all lined up first and then uh, you're able to go ahead and tighten it with the socket And it's like every time I'm looking for a um and I find it best to use an extension. Um, that way I have enough room to tighten it with the socket wrench and um, it'll go a whole lot easier. Socket ratchet, sorry. So now you got the uh, bottom bolts in. Now you want to do the same to the top. And just make sure you flush them all the way and tighten them as hard as you can with your hand and the ratchet. And then you want to move on to putting in the wires. As you can see, there's a couple wires that have to be attached that's already attached to the AC compressor. And then that one wire that goes to the um, to the alternator. And you'll, uh, I'll show you how to connect that here, or where to put it. So yeah, you don't want to forget also attach the um, green wire to the black hose that goes on the AC compressor. That's uh, very important.
Another thing too, before you um, add Freon, you want to add the AC compressor oil. It already comes pre um, pre lube with three ounces of oil. I think the specs read it has to have like six, six or five. Um, you want to add three more just to make sure. And it's R dash one thirty four A. I want to say. That's also at AutoZone as well, too. Or you can find it at Walmart, wherever it's easier for you. And then at this point, I'm just taking off the sticker and getting ready to add the AC lines back. Like I said, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, it's all 10 millimeter when it comes to the AC lines. Line that back up and then add the bolt back. You don't want to over tighten it. I'm just making sure it's nice and snug on there. There's no leaks. There's no gaps. Nothing I have to worry about. Uh, it's easy to have get access back to the AC lines if you complete the job and, and you see a leak. So don't worry. But at the same time, it's just best to do it the first time, the right time.
All right, so we got both of the lines back in there, and then we're going to make sure we move the wire so that I can put it back um, how it's supposed to go. And root it the right way. And we're going to add the tensioner back. And then the tensioner mounting also has a hole that the alternator goes into. So that's why we need that part on there as well. And then same thing, just line the bolts up and add them as, as is. Oh, 12 millimeter. And that tension goes to that back hole. And that front uh, hole right there goes to the alternator on the side. Now we got that in there. Now we're ready to put the alternator back in. And then the belt. Uh, I didn't show me putting the belt back on, but it's the same um, the same process as taking it off. You want to use a 19 and something bigger to add leverage to it. And go ahead and uh, I kept the belt kind of close to the uh, pulleys so I didn't have to reroute it. I just kind of put it back on the alternator or held it toward the alternator then use the tensioner and then put it back on so that way i wouldn't struggle it's not an easy process to be honest with you the alternators or the the, the um my tensioner was very uh hard and to push so when i did push it back uh, i finally had to use a crowbar or um, something heavy just to hold the uh, tensioner back but it's easier said than done once you get that tensioner to a certain point and you just add the uh, belt. But when putting on alternator, I suggest putting on the bottom bolt first. 
and then you'll line up the top bolt and then tighten both up as hard as you can go. And once you tighten those bolts up, you can put the wires back as you did. Um, those bolts to the alternator, once again, are 12 millimeter, and then that's a 10 millimeter on top of the wire. And then you just uh, push in the uh, connection and then uh, put the battery back on. Refill with your Freon. Um, I went to AutoZone and got a Freon, uh, the AC Pro. Uh, it has a gauge on there and it tells you how much PSI is uh, in the um, actual uh, lines going through the uh, AC compressor. So I suggest getting that so you don't overfill it and put too much Freon in there. And then um, make sure when you're using the AC Pro that you uh, have the car on and the AC is on uh, on high or max. Um and then at that point, it should start getting colder for you and stay cold. Other than that, uh, it was a very, very um, simple job. Like I said, only bolt, only sockets you'll need is 12 millimeter sockets and 10. Uh, 19 millimeter um, wrench for the belt tensioner and something maybe like a 21 or something heavier to a tension that uh that tension off but uh, it's a very very simple job and you'll be able to uh do it yourself at home now and i let the video run it's longer than expected but just so you can see um real time how long it actually takes to do this it's actually even longer put, putting the belt on but uh hopefully it's simple enough you to understand you'll be able to do it yourself it's not a hard job at all after you lock those bolts in put the wire back on put your battery back on and that's it's done you got a new ac compressor in and no longer because I don't know about other people uh, in Texas. We we desperately need AC compressors, so this saved me a bunch right here. It's just one job. And I'm just going to tie that. There's torque specs for the alternator. Uh, if you if you have a torque um, ratchet, I just don't have it, so I just get it as tight as possible. So yeah, add those wires back on there. Didn't have to take out the fan or nothing else crazy. Um, and then you're good to go. And like I said, that attaches back to that wire right there that I'm holding with my right thumb. Uh, that one is connected to the AC. And there's a spot on the alternator that kind of slides into. I'll put these other wires back on here first and then I'll try to find that spot for you soon, hopefully. You'll be able to see where it goes. <laughs> 